Hello, and welcome to the Xenos Virtualization Diagnostics Demonstration. You know, a virtualized environment can be complex with multiple servers, guests, hosts, real and virtual networks, and SANs. Xenos is the perfect tool for making sense of it. Consider what you need to do when a new appliance just isn't working properly. You might need to bring up the vSphere console, run some commands in the SX host shell, and drill into the operating system on the guest. Even in this simple example, that's three different information sources. With Xenos, you get full visibility in one interface. The Xenos model ensures consistent monitoring of all the devices in a virtual environment. On an ESX server, you can view the data stores, memory, and CPUs, all information that Xenos gets by using the VI APIs. But what sets us apart is the ability to pull in information from other sources and correlate it all on a single screen. For example, we can see the SNMP sysname and contact information for the ESX server. We can also drill into the ESX server and see the physical interfaces seen by the ESX console operating system and the local file systems, not the virtualized interfaces and file systems. We integrate that seamlessly and it comes from a different set of APIs. One of the common things that we've seen is that the VI API is very good and powerful. These performance charts display data that Xenos has collected using that API. But sometimes you have to drop into the ESX console to get information using the tools and utilities there. Not only is it a separate interface, but it's really difficult to analyze a problem if you don't have historical information. And who wants to spend time rerunning commands repeatedly just in case there is a future problem? Xenos will pull that information from the ESX console for you directly using SSH. Here we're looking at the I.O. stats collected from the ESX top alongside CPU usage from the VIA APIs. Diagnosing a problem is one thing, but figuring out how to deal with a user complaint that an application is slow is another. Xenos does a great job with this type of issue too. Let's look at this database server. You might want to jump right in and start the blame game. You know, it's the network, it's the server, it's the SAN. The standard metrics really help us figure out what's going on and where to look. The first step in any kind of problem like a slow response time ought to be to verify that what the users are seeing is really real. And here Xenos synthetic transactions are the perfect tool. Here Xenos is running a scheduled database query. And as you can see, there's clearly something occasionally going wrong with my database. Database queries aren't the only synthetic transaction type that Xenos supports. Probably the most popular is HTTP, but of course there are many others. Since this is a database system, I'm going to investigate the storage subsystem first. This system is a guest on a virtual server. With Xenos, I can go from the OS view over to the guest view, and then very quickly over to the storage view, all in one tool. The guest shows me which data store the database server is using. It's the information from the VI APIs again. I get a good idea how the guest is configured, but I really need to look at the physical device. So let's let Xenos take me to the SAN device. The Xenos model links my devices and networks into a great big chain, so I can easily follow the problem from host to guest to SAN. It's a huge time saver and much simpler than separate tools. This data store is a NetApp filer, and we'll take a closer look. Clearly there's something going on. The file system is, some of the file systems are filling up. But you know, I'd rather look at data from a variety of systems and sources, multiple metrics all together. So let's take a look at a report that ties together and correlates information from the virtual systems, network, and physical storage. Now at the top of this report, you can see the VM disk activity and that all of my virtual systems are being tracked. Lower down, the network activity spikes from the ESX host and some from the filer. You can see the spike in both systems at the same time. And at the bottom, I see my physical storage activity. Without Xenos, it would take me three to four tools to put this report together. With Xenos, I can have it automatically generated every day and mailed to my key users. Xenos is a great help for operations teams running virtual systems. With one product doing the work of half a dozen and providing a unified view, it's much simpler to diagnose immediate issues and much easier to identify long-term performance trends. Xenos is really the perfect tool for a virtualized data center. Thanks for listening.